This is Kobe, and this is Moore. One night, Moore was looking at photos. One picture made Kobe look twice. Who's that? he asked. That's Becky, but she lives in New York, said Moore. Becky happened to be in Miami that day, but alas, fate did not want them to meet yet. Soon after, Kobe was in New York, but Becky was not available then either. A few months later, Kobe got his hopes up, only to have them dashed again, as Becky was finishing nursing school and didn't have time. Kobe was discouraged. He almost lost interest and thought fate was not on his side. Then one day, Kobe was on Facebook and noticed Becky was online too. Without more to make the connection, Kobe decided to message her directly. To Kobe's shock, Becky responded immediately, and a flood of messages and texts followed that day, then weeks. Kobe knew they had to meet. After all, Becky wouldn't talk to him on the phone until they'd met for the first time. It was a tough decision, but Becky decided to come to Miami. And what a great weekend! July 4th in Miami. A nice restaurant and then lounge. For a moment, Kobe thought Becky had skipped out on him, but it turns out that it was the sushi making her green and not Kobe. After fireworks on the golf course, Kobe felt something welling up inside and had a revelation. The next few months included a lot of flights, late night phone calls, and family get togethers in Miami, New York, even LA. But Becky still had to meet Julie, Kobe's older sister. Knowing Kobe wouldn't propose until she'd met his whole family, Becky had a feeling Kobe would propose sometime in December. By chance, Becky thought. Scarlett found out about an event in New York with an opportunity for Becky to work in Miami and the Lurries would be in town. She would finally get to meet Kobe's big sister. Becky could hear wedding bells in her future. So Becky went with Scarlett to meet this man. Riding up in the elevator, she was feeling nervous and then the doors opened and Becky had the surprise of her life. All that was in front of her was a computer on a table. A thousand thoughts running through her mind. She tentatively pressed the play button on the video, as the sign told her to do. Unknown to Becky, her family had been informed. The right way, of course. Kobe and Mazal had been planning this engagement weekend for several weeks without Becky having any clue. It dawned on Becky that there was no meeting for a job opportunity on the rooftop of the Flatiron Hotel. Instead, there was a different opportunity being laid to plan, with a different type of proposal. A lifetime opportunity with Kobe. Kobe knew back on that golf course lawn how special Becky is, how lucky he is to have her in his life, that she is his perfect match and how her happiness is the most important thing to him. But wait, there's one more thing, Becky. Please come outside. There's someone waiting for you.